Well, good morning on this wonderful Easter Sunday morning. What a delightful day and what a privilege it is to serve the Lord and to know him in a personal way. If you had any nice phone calls this week, I had a sweetheart phone call from my granddaughter and family and she one of the first things she did, she quoted for us the 23rd Psalm from start to finish at nine years of age. Have you got the word of God settling in your heart? Do you have some scriptures that you've memorized? It's fascinating. The things that God does for us when scriptures come into our hearts often, when we're facing something in life, they return and come alive within us and we can find from them peace and blessing and joy. We can find from them a sense of the presence of God. There's another thing that the Lord does for us too, and that is when he puts songs in our heart. There are songs that he puts in us. If you turn in your Bible and you turn to the 120th Psalm, and you can go right there to the 134th Psalm, and every one of those Psalms are songs. They're songs that God put in their hearts that they can sing. They're songs that bring them great measures of rejoicing and joy. Do you ever have any songs that bring you joy? I've had songs through my life that come alive in me. One of the ones that I have enjoyed so much and found a blessing to me is in thee, O Lord, do I put my trust. That's a psalm that, song that for us all these days, we need to embrace that and sing it and let it fill our hearts that we are trusting God in this journey that we're in, in this journey that we face for today and the future, we want to put our trust in the Lord, embrace what the Lord says to us, sometimes in a scripture, sometimes in a psalm. And you can put your trust in the Lord and you can lift up your voice to him and worship him and trust him. I remember other songs I used to sing and they would make a difference in my life. I remember Jesus, name above all names. What a wonderful thing, the name of Jesus. And on this Easter Sunday morning, we're thinking about Jesus and we're thinking about all the things that he's done for us. And because of what kind of flows into our hearts, we see faith and we see worship and we see truth and we see life and we see blessing and we see peace all come from God. Sometimes they come in a song. I know one that they've been singing lately for us, the worship team in the church, and Esther's been leading it a bit. It talks about God being a way maker and it talks about him being a miracle worker and it talks about him being a promise keeper and it talks about him being light in the darkness. Those are some of the things that the Lord wants to do and be for you. Now, sometimes people get songs in their heart and there's songs that kind of take them down a different path. There's songs that aren't songs of faith. There's songs that might be songs just out of a, a kind of a type of music, or they might be out of some kind of thing that's out there in the world. Make sure that the songs that fill your heart are anointed music of worship. Now, when God gives songs, sometimes he gives anointing on a song where it comes alive with you. You feel that you have had a visit from God when you sing it. You feel that you have had a visit from God when you declare it. Jesus wants you to have a visit with him. And at this, this, this Easter time, make sure that for you, the songs come in your heart that God puts there. I've listened to so many songs lately that you just know that they are anointed. You know when they're sung, the Spirit of the Lord flows through them. You know that when they're anointed like that, they touch people and change their lives. 
God uses anointing in what we say, in the scriptures we read, in the songs that we sing. He uses people that he then anoints them. I remember a while ago, one of the men in the church felt to dance before the Lord, and he was up at the front of the church dancing before the Lord. That was so anointed. It just touched my heart in a tremendous way. Tremendous. Now, you think back at that song I mentioned here a minute ago, God will make, he's a way maker. Think about what that means for you. In the days that are ahead in your life, you have to find the way that God has for you to go, the path that God wants you to walk on, the things that you are wanting to do by his anointing need to be the things that he wants you to do. And you want God to be a way maker for you that he will open the doors that you have in relationships, in work, in education, in friendships, you want him to open the doors. And for him to open the doors, you want to have that anointing from God flow through you and change your life and change the hearts of others and fill them with peace. Lord, make a way for me to know your will. Lord, make a way for me to do your will. Lord, empower me with faith empower me with love and with mercy and understanding empower me to do the will of god pray that god will show you his will and empower you to do it you see the second thing in this hymn i mentioned he's a miracle worker and you see the miracles that god worked for people all through the scripture. Kathy on the children's broadcast last week had a whole story about Noah and building an ark and getting in that ark. And can you, now can you imagine if God said to you, build an ark? It's to be a hundred feet long or whatever it was. Build an ark and you're going to be in it. Can you imagine being in an ark all that time? with all different animals like it's got to be a way that god has that he wants you to go and it's going to take a miracle worker to do the supernatural to see it happen how that happens is when the holy spirit flows through you have you seen the holy spirit flow through people when he does, often they get something to pray or something to declare or something to do or the Holy Spirit speaks to them to pray for somebody and somebody gets healed. Somebody gets free. Some kind of addiction gets gone and the people are set free by the power of God. Wonderful thing to have that word in your heart that God will be a miracle worker and that might mean that he wants you to do something to see the miracle come about to see the healing come for someone someone to pray for that he then hears that prayer and answers it and god to be a promise keeper a promise keeper for you a promise keeper for you this year. Has God had things that he's told you that have come alive? Stand firm and claim the promises of God. He said, I will never leave you or forsake you. He said, be still and know that I am God. Oh, I want to know he's God. God, I want to see your promises come about. I want to see the prophetic words that you have given to people. I want to see them come to reality so that people's lives are changed and they're transformed. I heard a wonderful story this week. A lady brought her mother to church in 1996. And the mother came to church and sat in church with her. And at the end of the service, she said to her daughter, 
when Pastor Smith prayed about Jesus coming into their lives, into their hearts, I prayed that prayer and welcomed Jesus into my life. What a promise to know that when she died, just a very short time later, she was in heaven. It's a promise of God. He won't leave us or forsake us, and he took her to heaven. If you had somebody the Lord has sent you to do something with, to pray with them, to share with them, to do something for them, and then God has taken them to be with him in heaven because they accepted him, as their savior. And the last round of that song that they sing is that he will be a light in the darkness. Well, this world we live in has a lot of darkness all around us. There's a lot of stuff going on that's terrible. And God wants to use you as a light that will bring light in the darkness that you will show the light of God flowing, shining through you. And people will see, yes, there's something other than this darkness. Yes, there's a place where God is in heaven. Yes, there's things that God can do in me here on earth. God wants you to be a light in darkness. So sometime when you're in home and the lights are all turned off, flip a light on. And just realize that's what God wants to do to you in this world. He wants to turn the light on in you so that it shines out of you and it shines to see other people and makes a path for them. You see, a light in darkness gives people a clearer path as to what they're to do with their life and what he wants you to be and how he wants you to help people. Invite a song to come into your heart, a song from God, a song of praise where you worship God and others hear it and see it and others respond to it and say yes to God and respond to what you do and they say, yes, I will accept what you have done for me. And you want to be somebody who makes a difference in the world, then be a light in darkness. You want to be somebody in this world that makes a difference? Be a miracle worker. Be a promise keeper. You've made promises to God. Keep them. And he will be a promise keeper to you. And he will make your way and your path clear. So be a person who knows and loves and trusts in Jesus Christ. Be a person who makes a difference in the world in which you're loved other people because you love them with the love of Christ. Invite Jesus into your heart today. If you've never invited him into your heart, you can do that tonight like that lady did years ago and it changed her. It changed her for eternity. Let God change you. Change you for here in life and change you for all eternity. You want to be a child of God. If that's you, you can pray this prayer with me. Dear God, I come to you in Jesus' name. I ask your son Jesus, who died on the cross, and who on the third day you raised him from the dead, so that my sins could be forgiven and I can go to heaven, I ask Oh, dear God, that Jesus would come into my heart and be my Savior. Forgive me of the sins I've committed and give me power to live a right life for you. Change me. And I ask, dear God, that you will help me to see people's hearts and lives changed in the world in which we live. And then let's pray together. Lord, there are so many people going through crisis moments these days. They're struggling over employment. They're struggling over finances. They're struggling over this virus. We are asking, Lord Jesus, that you will be a miracle worker. Provide for them. Show them what they're to do and how they're to do it. And Lord, where we're to be a help, show us where that is and give us the strength to help other people. 
may we walk this life in faith. Have a wonderful Easter day. Remember, this is the li this is the celebration of the day that changed the lives of people for life and eternity. We go to heaven now because of what happened on this day. God raised Jesus from the dead. Oh, what a wonderful, wonderful Easter present to us from God. Amen, and God bless you.